Community Hotline is made possible with generous support by the Mount Hood Cable Regulatory Commission. The Mount Hood Cable Regulatory Commission advocates on behalf of the public interest on communications policy issues at the local, state, and federal levels. Welcome back to our last segment of Community Hotline. I'm Monica Weitzel and we're in Gresham at Metro East Community Media. And now we have with us uh, two ladies who are representing Gresham Outdoor Public Art. We have with us the chair of the organization, Judy Hahn. It's wonderful to have Thank you back you. again. Thanks, Monica. And Charlotte Becker, you are a committee member and a, mm -hmm. a longtime uh, supporter of the arts in Gresham. Yes. From what I understand, yeah. It's great to have you both here. Thank you. So Gresham Outdoor Public Art, Still a fairly new nonprofit. I mean, Judy, you were the founder of the Gresham Art Walk that was so successful and, and started, what, how many years ago? 15, 16. 16 years 16 ago? 16 years ago. Yeah, mm -hmm. huge, hugely successful event here in, in Gresham, which you um, eventually bequeathed to the city of Gresham. Uh, they were so grateful. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and <laughs> They're it's, doing and it's, great. And it's still a great event. They're and doing they, a beautiful they've job. done a nice, nice job are. with They're it. And I think job. it's even bigger this year. Uh, but the, so, then from there, you've gone on uh, to, to do the Gresham Outdoor Public Art. And, and so, Charlotte, have you been in on this organization since the beginning? The Outdoor Public uh -huh. Art? No. No. I, I retired um, in the, at the end of 2015 from a real job. A and rest. then they gave me a rest. And, oh. and then I was ready. So I So I you said, took a little break there? And yeah, I took about a year, actually. Wow. But you were involved with the Gresham Art Walk as well. Yeah, for 11 years. Yeah, yeah. Well. It, wonderful things that, that have been done in Gresham as far as art goes. Mm -hmm. The public art though is, is a little bit different in that it's all it's all things that everybody can access easily right. and it's um, it's it's free nobody has to you know I mean it's right. free as far as people appreciating right. the art. Mm -hmm. Tell me uh, a little bit of history about what you've done so far. So the, the Gresham Outdoor Public Art, our mission is to bring permanent public art to the community starting at the center core of Gresham and working our way out. Mm. Uh, we will be going out. It's not going to just be about Main Street, but we're starting there because we really need to do something about right. our historic core. And it's about bringing permanent public art. And, um, it, you know, it's, uh, the art is for everybody. When you bring the permanent public art down, it's, it, everybody's accessible to it. It's not, it doesn't right. cross any social, economic lines or whatever. It's for everybody. Right. And mm. um, we have a... A guide dog, Driscoll, down on Third and Main, who's kind of become. We were just talking about this about kind of almost the mascot of Gresham. Right, and he's Every it's a bronze. Day, he's a, bronze? a bronze dog yeah. done by Heather Soderberg. He was it was a guide dog that was uh, trained and um, raised and trained in Gresham, and then went to a gentleman in Hood River. And um, so we just happened, it just happened to be a lark and there was, we could have one and so we have him. So you, he's memorialized forever he's in this bronze forever. statue. And you know. Oh, when, and here, this is him in the middle there, correct? There he is, yeah. Driscoll. He, and he's almost become the mascot. We put a wreath on him in, in the winter and no one touches it. <laughs> Whatever, oh, right. Leslie Radke, who's on our committee, mm -hmm. put a heart wreath. She put a Christmas wreath. She put a St. Patrick's Day bow tie. No one touched the dog. Mm -hmm. And every day people have interaction with the dog. Mm -hmm. the and mural. kids. And kids the kids, big time. Yeah. So uh, the mural is on the Jazzy Bagel building. That's wonderful, and wonderful And it's a look mural. back in time. And there's also going to be coming two new murals on the Jazzy Bagel building, which I can oh, tell really? you in a minute. Oh, really? Okay. Um, Carla Peluso, number she two sponsored up there. the first bike rack. I asked uh, Mayor Bemis if I could have a bike rack, and he said, why? I said, well, we're going to make a piece of art out of it. Okay, so, but it'll be <laughs> functional. It'll be functional, functional art and beautiful so at the did. same time. So yeah. we did, that's the first one, and we have another one coming. Um, we recognized, um, acknowledged Rip Caswell as the donor or the artist of the family ties that's on the museum, and we placed the brick around it. We got, so it was sitting on the proper pedestal that right. it should be on. That's number three up there. And number five was a, gentleman, a young man, Gresham Barlow student, who donated a piece of art to the, to the city. He was a skateboarder. He and I had a long talk. He probably jumped off our things. He said, Judy, I was kicked off a lot of stairs. And I said, probably mine at the Sunny Hans. And um, 
there were some real issues, I guess, with the, the park and the Veterans Memorial. And what's very interesting is he is a veteran. He has served three tours in Afghanistan. Wow. So, but it, this, this was never acknowledged. It was just a piece sitting there. And I thought, well, who, who did this? So I played detective with Leslie, and we figured it out and contacted him through Facebook. And he told us his story, and we acknowledged his piece. Good. That's wonderful. So the murals and the dog and a lot of things, and good oh. things happening. Yeah. Good things coming. More things to two come. Two more murals. Um, Dick Dowsett gave permission on the Jazzy Bagel Building to do two more murals on the PAL side of the building. They'll They're really fun to look at. I mean, they'll be a historical <laughs> nature. This is yeah. a look back into the into the Rexall Drugstore of what it looked like in those in that era. And was that the Rexall Drugstore there? That was that the Rexall really, Drugstore. Yeah. And yeah. what you see in there is the way it was kind of set up. Yeah. Dick's actually Dick's grandfather's in the painting as well. I, I've, po I've parked in the parking lot across from it before it's and just so sat there stunning. and looked at everything. Because there's so much to see in it. It is a lot to see in it. Yeah. And so there'll be two more murals going in on the PAL side of the building. Mm -hmm. We were just discussing this before we got on the show that maybe in August we'll start that. We're talking, mm. and Don Gray, who did that mural, is gonna do the same murals. Oh, great. So he'll do that. Great. So you know, it'll be good. Mm -hmm. And we have a um, bronze bear coming right. the for the Seroptimus in honor of the Seroptimus on a bench. There will be a teddy bear, a bronze teddy bear done by Chad Caswell. Well, and this is going to be the 40th anniversary, or the 35th, 35th anniversary of the, of the Teddy Bear Parade. Parade. That's right, yeah. so it's yeah. going to honor that. And we have some other art projects. We're working with the students at Mount Hood Community College mm -hmm. in their visual arts, in their sculpture. Three different uh, art groups, I think, yeah. from there are going to come. Charlotte and I Metal, glass. Metal, glass, art, and, and, and uh, painting, uh, art, painting. painting. Yeah. And they're going to do a project and bring it to the city. And another thing we just... Um, are doing the Dhaka Park. Mm -hmm. mm. We got a grant. We got some money from a, a, a got a nice sum of money from someone who donated to Gopa because she liked what Gopa does. And I was talking about birds on stones and coming doing birds on stones in downtown, relative to the birds of our community. Mm -hmm. And she said, Judy, I love Nadaka Park. So we went to Nadaka Park. And um, in the rain, in the rain, <laughs> and we met with Lee Dayfield, and it's a beautiful place. If you've yeah, never been, been, you must go to the Dhaka yeah. Park. It's beautiful. I love it. So, Rip Caswell um, is doing an otter, a bronze otter for Nadaka, and oh. Chad Caswell is doing a raven that will sit up on top of one of the tall posts and look down. Oh, cool. And that will be, th those should be ready this summer. Oh, that's wonderful. So, that's gonna so you're going out that far so mm -hmm. already. Well, which, the, the, yeah. the lady who gave us the dollars, um, Nadaka is important to her. Yeah. And no, at first it was a all jewel in the middle. It of, is. You know. It's going to be all about birds yeah. and stones. And pretty soon, David yeah. Bauman happened to bring an otter, and pretty mm -hmm. soon we all voted for an otter. And then we said, yeah. "Okay, a raven too." Yeah. That's and it's a life-size otter. It's a life-size really? otter. Yeah, it's, it's a life-size really, otter and really a life-size raven. Well, if you see it sitting out in where it's going to be, it's, it's, be, it's like it's sitting real, in a river of rock, in the oh. river. and it's standing on its hind legs, so it's, it looks like it's kind of like, greeting you. <laughs> I think yeah. they're oh, going to do a contest really about naming the otter. This otter right now is named Scout. That's mm. what Rip That's has true. his name, but I think they're going to come up with their own name for it. That'd be great. Get some of the school kids to try to name it. That'd be fun. And then the plaques and everything will be done in Braille. As oh, well, that's as wonderful. So we'll always continue that braille. That's wonderful. That braille. Charlotte, what do you do as a member of the committee? What What do you do um, to help bring the art to? Just poke question. fun at everybody else. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Well, because you, you mentioned something about the college, you knew you knew, you knew what was going well, on. Well, so. and I, you know, I, and Judy and I went over and talked to um, some people at the college. Uh -huh about the project and then I helped write uh, the grant that mm. we got to work with the college so uh, that, it was a grant a through the city it's and the um, oh. and we were really pleased to get it Good. so Good. We're, it, that's a work in progress and we're not sure exactly where it's going to go or how it's going to work but we have some pretty interesting ideas yeah. for that been project. Very supportive. We did. We had one piece been. kind of selected, but in the end, it's a little bit too big. But it's something it just, we're going to keep. Yeah. We're going to keep it in the background. We'll probably okay. bring it out later. Yeah. But yeah. So how do you decide which projects you're going to work on? Oh, gosh. Uh, I, we're going to do them all. Yeah. We just. You I just, just have to, you I, just I have to prioritize it. Yes. Just kind of. I, I'm picking up. A, there's a bike being delivered tomorrow. Uh, a bike rack. Another, a bike rack done in hot red. It's red mm, and um, done old fashioned and whatever. And where will um, that be located? It's going to go on the corner of Third and 
uh, across from Bocelli's by Cafe D. And the reason mm. it's put there is because the lady who is sponsoring it has an office upstairs of Cafe D up there in the building. Maybe Cafe so Delirium for those who Cafe don't know. Cafe Delirium, I'm sorry, yes. <laughs> well, you know. So um, it's on the corner of 3rd and Main and she, we just kind of selected the spot because it was upstairs and she wanted to. Be she said, I want to sponsor a bike. I'm, I, I said, okay. And, and it's something affordable to do that she said and she can be a part of this whole That's thing. great. That's great. Right. Now, you also have something coming up called the Funky Junk Sale. Funky, Funky Junk. junk. Funky <laughs> Junk. So tell me about that. Okay, and we have Funky some pictures, junk. too, so I'd, like, I'd love to be well, able to see Well, Funky Junk, uh, we have, first of all, we have two booths and Chase Me Again. At, we Chase basically Me Again being the thrift shop. The thrift shop the Center for the Arts Plaza. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Oh, my gosh. If you haven't been there, yeah, it's you wonderful. find something. What we realized is we've become a picker for the arts, and a picker means going out and estate sales, garage sales. We just came back from the coast, and we have picked, and then we, um, like you see the pickers on TV, mm -hmm. only it's not that glamorous. <laughs> and uh, so oh, we I'm pick sure for the is. arts, <laughs> and then we bring it back, and we fix it up, make it something or whatever, and we sell it. And those dollars, every nickel goes back to the community. Last year, we took the mural, and we put a picture of the drawing up there of the possibilities. Don't, that's Chase Me Against. So that's Great in things. the thrift shop right, right. there. Right, and Leslie oh, and I, and I for a while. we go I'm picking, and that's what we find. Uh -huh. So um, I put a mural, piece of mural up in the Funky Junk sale, and I said to people, so we have a Funky Junk, so it's it's a elite garage sale? So we're going yeah, like, to have garden art and all kinds of stuff a, in there. It's a garage sale on steroids. A, kind there of. you go. So what is this? Is this stuff you're that's storing what's, for? That's some the? Of the, yeah, our storage unit is full. That's just part of it, and it's just full of outdoor indoor, a lot of rust, a lot of chic and shabby. So people can donate to They can. Yes. Do you have we're plenty of stuff picky. now? I mean, we could probably use some, but we're being very picky because okay. last year we ended up with a lot of vacuums and carpet cleaners and we don't want to do that. <laughs> you want things that no. can be repurposed we can. into art. Is last, that right? Right. Yeah. Which well, obviously not even, not even repurposed for art, just things that will resell. We we generated forty six hundred dollars at our last wow. sale, which helped put the mural on the wall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so this year I'm hoping to do more. We're doing more garden art. We have some very fun garden art coming. Garden art's always and, fun. Um, so don't, don't don't bring your broken appliances down. No, we won't no, take no, it. No, I no. won't yeah. take it. Don't we, we can't. Yeah. Well, first of all, I really don't have a space. We're full. Uh -huh. And I've got someone else's garage. Marty Stone's got his garage on my mic. It's, it's everywhere and right now. This is this is a picture of um, one was, part of the Funky Junk Sale from last year. It was year. set up last year. Okay, so so, so if you we can go kind in there, of get an I mean, idea of what it looks there's like. There's something for everybody. Wow. Oh yeah. yeah. And when people and that was just one room. I'm that, sorry. No, no, it went. That was just one I room. Know. We had a whole separate yeah. room of of um, like holiday stuff, stuff. Christmas, Halloween, St. Patrick's books, Day, Valentine's oh, Day, books, books, records. So yeah. where is this and when is this? So this is going to be at 633 East Pal. I've got the address down. <laughs> it's where the old Husqvarna place is. Gresham Upholstery is on one side. It's an orange we'll building. Be, is it orange, an orange building? building. Right on orange Pal. Building. Okay. Right on Pal. Um, they're doing some construction next to it, and then Guilford's is just um, west of that, so okay. it's right there on Powell. Um, on Thursday, May 18th, there will be a preview night, okay. maybe with a $5 donation, and you can come by early. Ooh. And the sale is May 19th and 20th, Friday and Saturday from 8 to 6. Okay. No Sundays. All right. Yeah. And so is there a... a um I know you just, there's you something. You just come, you just show just up. Come. Mm -hmm. and just come. And spend some money, and it's all going right. to go to. And, right. Gresham Ford. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't forget this. Gresham Ford is our sponsor. Okay. Um, yeah. They're sponsoring they're it, and um, we'll, have, we'll sell some hot dogs. The Gresham Baptist Church, mm -hmm. uh, Rusty's got some of the, their kids are coming to help be our buffaloes to haul things around and oh, get great. it set up. And they'll be working the sale as well. So it's a community deal. There's something. I know there's something there you can't live without. Yeah. I'm sure there And if there probably, isn't, you can put something in things. the jar and leave. There and that's go. okay. You there can you come go. donate. I told people last year, if you give $5, $500, $50, you have now become a part of that mural. Mm -hmm. So it's a way for people to become a part yeah. of the I art. helped to put that up You did, mm -hmm. yeah, honestly. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's, it's a community. It's all yeah. community. Yeah. It's a community. That's great. We're, we're out of time, but I, I encourage people, if, if they like art at all, right. and who doesn't, right. who doesn't think that's an important part of their lives. Right. Um, and know. the website. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Gresham. GreshamOutdoorPublicArt.com. Okay. And we'll start putting the information up on the website. And you have some great information up there already. We do. And, uh, we do. and pictures of some of the, of the, the art that you've we will be. sponsored and, right. and put up there. So yeah. 
Yes. We'll check it out. Funky okay. Junk Sale. Looking forward to it. Thank and you, Monica. Thank you, Be there. As usual, thank, thank you, Metro East. <laughs> thank you. Thank Metro you East. very much. Thank and you. thanks for watching Community Hotline. <laughs> it's been a fun show. I'm glad you joined us. I hope we'll see you again next week. I'm Monica Weitzel. Good night. Thank you.